Hey everybody, this is Andrew with Hardware Artisan. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you a product from ASUS. It's a ROG, which is Republic of Gamers, uh, ROG Aura Terminal. Uh, its main function in life is to uh, give you the ability to do some synchronized lighting uh, to all the action that's on your monitor. So video games, videos, uh, really anything, uh, whatever's going on, if you're just moving windows around, it gives you some pretty cool effects. And so that's primarily what this is for. And it does also function as just a, a regular Aura Sync terminal. It gives you four of the uh, three pin, five volt A RGB headers and will integrate nicely into other Aura Sync products that you have. It will work with Aura Sync. Halo is the program that actually does the synchronized lighting. I'll show you both uh, just briefly here in a minute so you can take a look at how that works. Uh, anyways, uh, I recently did a review of a Corsair LS100, which really serves the same function. And I had an opportunity to pick this up and just kind of nerding out on RGB lately. So I thought I'd check it out. Wanted to show it to you. I enjoy doing it. So let's uh, dig in. I'll show you what this comes with and we'll take a quick look at it. Um, obviously, it comes with the terminal itself. Uh, just a couple of key features on this. This uh, logo here is RGB backlit. I'll show you that in just a second. Again, it comes with four of the uh, three pin, five volt ARGB headers. Uh, two on one side, two on the other. It does kind of have a brushed aluminum look on the one side. The other side is just just kind of a plastic -y look. It's, I don't know why they didn't do that over there, but um, has a power connection. And you can use this inside your case or outside. It comes with the cables for both. I'll show you those in just a second. Uh, it comes with a micro USB connection. And again, it includes the cables for external and internal, which is kind of a nice touch. Uh, this selector button here selects uh, between some of the lighting effects. This device has three lighting effects built in. You only need to connect it to a PC and you can select between them. Uh, they're pretty basic and I would imagine that most people aren't going to be using that, but kind of a nice touch. If you just set it on your desk, you can get some effects with it. And uh, it does have Republic of Gamers etched into the plastic here. It's really, really small, but again, not a bad touch. Uh, overall, the device looks pretty good does have a bolt pattern on the back, uh, an SSD bolt pattern. So you could mount this to an SSD tray inside your case and rubber feet if you're just going to lay it on your desk. So overall, uh, you know, pretty well thought out. It, the construction's pretty nice. I don't have any complaints about it. So well done. Um, it does include a external power brick. It includes a cable that uh, this is just the same power connection and it includes a Molex connector on it. Uh, this is for internal use. I don't plan on using it internal, so it's still in the back. Uh, it includes a micro USB to a nine pin USB header. Again, this is for inside your case connecting to your motherboard uh, if you're going to use it internally. It does include an external micro USB to type A. Uh, again, that's for, uh, for the external. I think it's a pretty nice touch that they gave you the cables uh, so you, you can use it either way that you like. It includes a couple of uh, ROG branded um, Velcro strips. It includes some stickers to attach the LED strips. The strips themselves don't have any uh, adhesive on it. They do have magnets on it. Uh, it includes a couple of stickers and an instruction book in multiple languages. And it comes with three uh, LED strips. It comes with a 60 centimeter. This one has 30 LED lights on it and then it comes with two of the 30 millimeter LED strips and these have 15 uh, on there. Not sure why they only included three. Um, you can buy these separately. They're not real cheap. The uh, When I checked earlier today the 60 centimeter one is 30 bucks and these are 15 bucks. There are probably some cheaper aftermarket uh, strips out there. It also comes with three uh, Extension cables. Uh, these are required to mate this connection up to what's on the uh, terminal itself. These extension cables are extremely long. I think uh, they're just under four feet, so four feet approximately, which gives you the ability to move these all over your desk. And again, uh, this device it supports the it supports the WS2812B 
addressable RGB LEDs. So basically, you know, anything that'll run that can, you can plug into here. Uh, as you all know, that Aura Sync, there's a, just a wide range of compatible devices that you could use this with. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll hook it up. I'll show it to you. We'll take a look at it. The, the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, just what's built into it. So uh, just a little caveat to this is you can daisy chain these together when you're using it just as an Aura Sync product. So if you're going to sync it with other devices, you can daisy chain these together. Um, each channel supports a maximum of 90 LEDs. So you could get all of these on one channel if you, if you wanted. And then 210 LEDs uh, total for this particular terminal. Uh, that said, when you're using this as the synchronized lighting, you have to plug these individually on each uh, terminal. So if you're going to set it up like that, to get just these three on there, you're going you're gonna to tie up three of the headers. And if you buy a, a, the fourth one to go on the bottom of the monitor or the top, whichever you prefer, you are going to uh, use all four terminals for this. So I'm not sure exactly why it was set up like that. Uh, nonetheless, that's how it is. So uh, the connections to this are relatively simple. Let me plug in the power strip here. And the headers are labeled, you know, one, three, two, and four. So we'll go ahead and just plug into header number one here. And there's no way you can plug these in backwards. They're keyed. So once you get that connected, the other end just simply plugs into the strip. Again, they're keyed. There's no way you can plug it in incorrectly. So that's going to be channel one. Let's go ahead and we'll do all three channels that we have. And for this demonstration, it's not really important which strip gets which. All right, so that those are the only connections that we have at this point. Okay, so I've got that connected all up there. Uh, no connection to a PC, just power and the three strips connected. And what it's running off here is just the internal effect. This is Comet. And if you select the button... Again, on the side here, you can change it. This is, I think, they call this Starry Night, just kind of a twinkling pattern. Uh, it's kind of cool. If, uh, if you guys are familiar with Aura Sync lights, you'll be familiar with some of these effects. Uh, press it again, turns it off. It does leave the logo lit, and they do recognize that as one of the effects. But uh, And then it's off, turns all of the lighting off. And then the very first one is just a rainbow. And again, the logo is lit in all three cases except the, the last one. Okay, well that's it. You can use that in that particular mode, just stand alone if you like. Kind of a, a, kind of a cool feature that it does it. I, I doubt many of you are going to use that though. So what I'll show you now is just some of the effects you can get out of this by using Aura Sync. And uh, as you'd expect, to just plug this internally or externally, you're going to get the same function. Uh, in this case, I've just got a laptop here with Aura Sync running just to do a quick demonstration. But So we'll plug our USB cable in, and we'll just connect it up to the computer. And then I'll overlay Aura Sync onto the video here. And once you get that on, you just want to turn it on. And eventually it will recognize the device. Okay, once you get this connected to your computer, whichever uh, you're going to use, internal, external, uh, and then you load up Aura Sync, uh, you're going to turn this into an on mode here. And this little link button here will link it with your other devices if you have them. In this case, this is the only Aura Sync compatible device I have. And it's relatively simplistic in here. If you guys are familiar with any of these lighting effects, this is going to be boring to you, but... Uh, I'll just give you a quick overview. You can see what these strips do. So static is exactly that. You can just select the static color, hit apply. Uh, I've noticed on my laptop here, this is not overly uh, fast. 
when you do it. You get the ability to select by areas, which means you can select uh, different strips and select whatever color. So this is strip one is the green there. Strip two, we'll put that to a blue. And then strip three, uh, we'll just put that to a red. And if you apply that, there you go. There's really no ability to get in here and select individual uh, lights uh, as far as I know. You can change the saturation and the brightness of it. So you can kind of fit it to meet whatever needs you, you have there. Anyways, that's static. There's breathing. We won't go through all of these in great detail, but you get the idea. Most of you are familiar with all these different effects. Uh, color cycle is going to be just exactly that. It's going to just flip through a bunch of different colors. Rainbow. Again, you're all familiar with rainbow. Comet, we kind of looked at that one already. Uh, just, just kind of a flashing light. You can change the speed and the colors and and kind of the gradients and things of that nature there. Uh, flash and dash. Nothing too fancy there. Wave. Most of these are pretty typical. If Again, if you're familiar with Aura Sync Lighting, you're going to have messed with this. Glowing yo-yo. I think you get the point. So overall, uh, the LEDs look good. I have no uh, complaints about them. Um, Aura Sync, uh, at least on my laptop and even on my desktop a little bit when I've played with it, has been kind of a hit and miss application. Uh, it generally, with some uh, uh, work, you can get it going. Uh, it, just, it just seems occasionally it's a little bit flaky. So, okay, well, there you have it. There's the, the basic effects you're going to get with Aura Sync. It's uh, really just like any other Aura Sync product. Uh, you can sync it up with all sorts of other things. They look reasonably well. And uh, there you go. So uh, let's go ahead and turn this off here. And we'll go ahead and load up uh, the Halo application and give you a quick overview of that. At the end of this video, I'll show you what this looks like. I'll set up on a monitor and, and so you can get an idea of what the effect is going to be. I think it's helpful to kind of see it here on the desk a little bit. Let me go ahead and we'll kind of reposition these here. So if we'll just act like this is our monitor, you know, left, right, top. Yeah, and in order to use it, it needs to be unlinked in Aura. And again, it's been a little flaky at times. When you unplug it, you can see you get the, the terminal takes over the lighting effects. So when you first load up Halo, uh, it's going to ask you to please ensure that the ROG or terminal is unlinked in order to enable Halo. So we're going to come back here, and even though I've got it turned off, I need to uh, click the little sync button over here, or the link button, and it will turn it to red, and I need to go ahead and save that change. And then Aura Sync, or uh, Aura Halo at this point is going to go ahead and recognize it. Um, it's reverted back to the rainbow because that's what's in the box here. But it is kind of connected up to this and synced. So once I turn it on, it will turn off that effect. And now Halo is kind of in charge of it. And so basically it just gives you a layout of your monitor here. And it asks you or gives you a layout of which strip goes to which. So header 3 is showing on the top. And if that's correct, then you can leave it. But once you select it, as you can see on the screen, it's going to light up the strip that it is. But that's obviously not the top one. That's going to be the one on the right. And so we want to change that. We want to select it to header number 2. But that's only lit up 15. And so in this section here, you can select how many LEDs you're going to put. So instead of 15, this is a 30 strip or 30 LEDs on that strip. And you can see it lights those up. Now sometimes you can get this reversed. And if you click that little icon there on the right, it will ask you which side is lit up so that you can make sure that you have it oriented correctly. In this case, OK, it's the left half that's lit. And header number one, that's obviously on the right. We'll click the little reverse button here. And we want to tell it the bottom half is lit. And then header number three, we're going to do the same thing. Click the little reverse. And it's going to ask us, please verify which side of the LED is now lit. Um, I do have that set to 30, and it needs to be set to 15. That's why all of them were lit there. 
So we'll save that, go back over here, header number three, reverse, we're going to tell the bottom half is lit, and then header number four, we're not using. Anyways, that's kind of how you're going to set it up there. If you have dual monitors, it, there will be another monitor representation over here, and then you can select you know, the top ones all the way across, and it's kind of the same general idea. So you can add in additional strips to this to go across multiple monitors if you like. Uh, you can change the brightness, obviously, the aspect ratio, which is kind of the uh, range that where the lighting effect will kind of take place. Uh, but we won't get into that right now. We're going to go ahead and just leave it uh, auto. Go ahead and save that effect. And at that point, you're ready to uh, rock and roll with it. So let's go ahead and load up... Uh, YouTube here, and you can see if we move that window around now, we kind of get the effect, and it just kind of does its best representation um, as best it can. But you can get a general idea of how that moves along with those just moving that uh, window around there. So. Here's a YouTube video of a concert I went to. Um, I'll just kind of overlay that so you can kind of get an idea a little bit here how the effect looks uh, as you're just looking directly at these. Normally these will be facing the other way up towards your wall. And as I end this video, I'll, I'll show you some video of it actually installed on a monitor with the lights dimmed to play a couple of games, play a few videos, so you can kind of get a general idea of how it's going to look when you get it installed. Um, in playing with the Corsair LS100, which basically does the same thing, uh, the wall color definitely makes a big difference in the effect. So take that with a grain of salt as you watch these videos. Uh, your wall color, if it's white, you know, you're going to get a better effect. Mine's kind of a grayish wall, so it still looks really good in my opinion. Um, you're just going to get varying results from that. Um, anyways, this should all give you a, a, a basic idea of how this looks. Overall, my thoughts on this uh, particular product are, are fairly positive. Uh, the hardware is really good. The strips look great. Uh, the effects are, in my opinion, uh, more basic, but you do get some control over it that syncs up with a ton of devices out there in the Aura Sync world. Um, you know, so from a hardware perspective, I don't have any issues with it. Uh, you know, my biggest complaints with it have been, uh, you know, the Aura Sync software and the Halo software is a little bit clunky at times, a little bit slow to respond, and uh, at times I've had to kick it a little bit to get it to go. So as with a lot of these RGB ecosystems, that's kind of been the case. Uh, some are better than others. Uh, they've all been a little bit, uh, uh, you know, less than perfect at times. But but you can get it to go. Um, if if you know external lighting and synchronized lighting is what you're after and uh, the aura sync ecosystem is what you're into and you've got a ton of other products uh, this will fit in just nicely with that and work great you'll have you'll be used to basically how they do it um, anyways uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments below i'll answer them as i can get to them and uh, if you like these videos like and subscribe i'll put some amazon affiliate links in the description below uh, if you want to check these products out and again, I appreciate you watching. I hope this has been helpful for you and uh, uh, we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. Bye.